Go to that today. I'll be reviewing the new Fates Warning album, Long Day, Good Night. One of my most anticipated albums of the year. I was really looking forward to this one. I really enjoyed their last album, Theories of Flight. I thought it was maybe their strongest since A Pleasant Shade of Grey. And some of my favorites from that album were like Seven Stars and Light and Shade of Things. And maybe White Flag, just to name a few. But we now have this album. And I've already pre-ordered the album. My copy shipped. And I definitely can't wait to get my copy in the mail. Guys, support your artists. And of course, if you haven't pre ordered or ordered the album already, definitely do so. Fate's Warning definitely deserve the support. But yeah, Fate's Warning, one of those bands that instantly comes to mind when thinking of bands that I think deserve more love or attention. To name a few other bands, maybe Fear Factory or Symphony X or Faith No More or Static X, just to name a few again. But anyways, going down to the album, the album starts off with The Destination Onward, which starts off fairly dark and moody for like the first three minutes or so and this dark moodiness really reminds me of something here from like Pleasant Shade of Grey but the song eventually picks up in tempo and gets a little bit heavier which I think is pretty cool the song does have some nice progression to it some nice flow I don't know if it's one of my personal favorites on the album but I do like it though maybe an honorable mention though because I am liking it again with each listen but then we get to Shuttered World the song is definitely one of my favorites. It's one of the heaviest songs on the album and one of the songs that definitely shows that or further proves how great of a guitar player Jim Matheos is because there is some pretty tasty riffs in this song. And I also like the soaring vocals from Ray and the chorus too. I think he vocally sounds pretty dang good in this song. But all around I think the song is definitely one of the highlights on the album. But then we get to Alone We Walk, which to me has a great balance of the more moody side of Fate's Warning and the more heavier side of Fate's Warning. And it's definitely one of the strongest points for me with this song. And it's another contender for being one of my favorites on the album. I'm really digging this one too. But then we get to Now Comes the Rain, which I've talked about already on my channel. It's a, it's a more melodic song and the melody in the song really Reminds me of something here from like a pleasant shade of gray. But I also hear theories of flight a little bit in the song too. Maybe it's the production or the overall sound of the song. But also I think the song to me further shows that Ray can still pull off those great vocals. I think he still sounds great today. Sure he might not be able to hit those higher notes from like albums like No Exit or maybe a Perfect Symmetry. But... Either way, I think he still sounds great today. I, st I think his voice still sounds, overall, pretty dang strong. I think he's he's getting better ever since the, the day they returned, or when they returned with Darkness with a Different Light. I think they've been getting better with each album. Now, with this album, or Theories of Flight, I'm still not sure which album I like more. But either way, it is, I do think that they are getting better in some ways with each album. But, yeah... Um, no, now Comes the Rain, definitely a great song. And then we get to The Way Home, and kind of like with the first song on the album, it starts off fairly melodic or moody before getting into a more heavy side of things with the second half of the song. And the song, it's not one of my personal favorites, but I do like it. I did really like it during my first listen, but this might be a song that I might have to listen to more and more in order for, for it to fully sink in because it is one of the more longer songs on the album but either way I think it's a good song and then we get to Under the Sun which I think shows how great Fate's Warning can be with the use of melody I do like the pretty guitar like such as around the one minute mark and I also really like the solo I do wish it was maybe a little bit longer but either way it's still a pretty solid solo but overall I do like Under the Sun but then we get to Scars, and this is a more heavier song on the album. I do like the rhythm work, such as in the verses, and there's some riffs that definitely pack a punch in this song. And then you have the chorus, which I think is pretty dang catchy. And yeah, it's maybe one of my favorites on the album, and not a bad choice for a single. But then we get to the song Begin Again, and the song kind of leans more towards hard rock a little bit, at least to me. And... The driving riffs that you get in the chorus kind of makes me think of something you'd hear from Disconnected. And I do like the Disconnected album. Some of my favorites from that album are 
one and pieces of me it still remains just to name a few but begin again i think i think it's an all-around solid song but then we get to when snow falls which a bit of a more slower song a bit more grounded which is a part of why it sounds like it maybe be from the album fwx or something it sounds like something you hear from that album maybe not one of my personal favorites on the album but i do like it and same with the next song, Liar, not one of my personal favorites. The song, to me, doesn't really bring much new to the table, but I do like it, though. It is, not every song has to bring something new and, and like innovative or whatever, but Liar, I think, is a decent song. But then we get to Glass Houses, and another more direct, straightforward song. Kind of leans more towards hard rock a little bit, or maybe at times... And I think the chorus is pretty dang catchy. Maybe one of the catchiest choruses on the album. And this is another song for me that's getting better with each listen. But then we get to the epic, the longest shadow of the day. This song is excellent. I'm uh, Structurally, I'm really intrigued by it. And the song flows fairly well, in my opinion. And for like the first three minutes or so, it starts off showing... The band just basically displaying their skills with melody before around 3 minutes and 15 seconds or 20 seconds mark. You get some heavy guitar that kind of has some has a dark mean tone slash sound to it and I really dig it. And then you have this bass, or, bass riff around the 8 minutes and 37 seconds mark that I really like too. But I think this song is one of Joey's, Joey Vera's shining moments on the album. But all around, definitely a great song. It's, it really shows how great Fate's Warning can be with their songwriting, how creative they can be too. But then the album closes with the album closer, the last song. And the song kind of unique in a way. Basically with the choices with the guitar, whether it be sound or so or anything like that. But you get some sweet acoustic guitar, some warm guitar or warm sounding guitar and not much to say about this one but I do like it though not a bad choice for an album opener the album closes on a softer note which is cool by me but overall if I had to rate this album I'd have to give it maybe well let's go for it let's go with a 9 out of 10 there are many songs on the album that are definitely getting better with each listen and it's probably one of my favorite albums of the year so far along with Deftones is new album ohms but anyways let me know your thoughts on the album how does it compare to their previous album let me know some of your favorites on the album and all that good stuff for me i'm still not sure which album i like more this one or theories of flight um there are a few growers on the album and that's okay not every not every song has to be instant for you but either way definitely a strong album overall but anyways Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and like, subscribe, have a nice day, and take care.